Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel if you're an OD but a goodie. I have been a full-time content creator for over 10 years now, so I thought it was well overdue for me to kind of show you guys behind the scenes of a day in the life and how I batch create and how I get stuff done. So we're going to go ahead and hop into it. So with me being a content creator, I am creating or working on my business in some aspect pretty much every single day. So whether I'm writing for my website, reading over campaign briefs, or doing research, I am always pouring into my brand. And my biggest goal is not just to create, but to create content that is valuable to you guys, my audience. So yes, I am constantly doing something every single day, trying to evolve and show you guys how to elevate that everyday experience. But there's one day out of the week where I like to do what is called batch creating. And I have been doing this for probably about five years now. And it has been so beneficial because I am able to just get a lot done at once. Because I always want my content to hold value it is never spontaneous. It is always curated, except for over on my vlog channel. My vlog channel is definitely more laid back and it's just more like getting a peek into my everyday life. But with my other content, I always try to make sure that I am adding value in some way. And that is my goal because I wanna make sure that I am pouring into you as my audience so i am really excited to be sharing this kind of behind the scenes with you guys and just letting you guys get a little bit of sneak peek as to how i like to batch create and how i like to kind of go about getting stuff done as a content creator So as you can tell, today's video is a day in the life of a content creator. And if you've been around for a while, then you know I have been doing this for a very long time. I started my YouTube channel in 2009 and I started consistently putting up videos around 2010. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight as to how I go about creating content, especially because life has changed changed so much. I am a mom now and I have to be a little bit more strategic about creating content. I have to make sure that there's one day that I can really just get a lot of stuff done because we don't have a nanny or anything like that. So it's very important that I have this one day where I can really just focus on getting stuff done. So today is my batch content day. It's when I like to batch create for Instagram, the blog, do anything I need to do for the newsletter, anything like that. So we do have to be a little bit more strategic about it. We always make sure that the boys are occupied on this day because Colton is a business owner, then his schedule is able to be flexible. So on these days, he makes sure that the boys are busy. That way I can get as much done as possible. So yeah, today I will be batch creating and what I like to do is pre-plan my day ahead of time. That way I know exactly what I'm going to be working on and what different items or props that I might need for the content that I'm going to be creating. So on this specific day, I have my hairstylist coming in and I also have my photographer come in. So the photographer actually helps me shoot any photos for the blog and then shoot any short form content. And then if I have a little bit of extra time, I also try to throw in long form content. But here recently, I've really been focused on short form content and also blog content. So if you guys haven't checked out my blog, it's lifewithnutrib.com, so check it out. And then I also have a newsletter that you guys can subscribe to, so I'll link that below. I just wanted this video to be kind of behind the scenes and let you know how I go about batch creating. I've also created a document if you're an influencer and you're trying to get more organized and figure out how to batch create. I've created a document for you to check out, so if you want to download 
download that. I'll also have the link in the description box below. But I have a lot of really exciting things coming up for creators. I always try to include helpful posts over on the blog for creators. So if you're looking for any tips, definitely check out the blog. And if you want to get organized with your batch creating, then definitely be sure to check out that planner. I'll have the link in the description box. So I have a few things that I need to do before my hairstylist gets here. I need to create an invoice. So my management team actually sends over the invoices to the brand, but I like to have one for my record. So I always make one on my end just so I can keep up with everything. I also need to send over an outline to a brand for a sponsored post. And basically an outline is just giving them a guide of how the content is going to flow, what I plan on doing in the video, what shots I plan on sharing, all of that. So I need to send that over. And then also I need to respond to just a couple of emails. So I need to get that done really quickly. And then once she gets here, we'll start getting ready. Um, today we plan on doing a few blog posts. I think I have about four blog posts to do, one sponsored post, and then I think I'm going to do three short form videos. So we have a pretty busy day, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So now, as I was telling you guys earlier, I'm just working on invoices, emails, creating that campaign outline, just different things like that. And if you have any questions related to content creating, then please leave them below because I will be doing a creator Q&A really soon. I also wanted to go over some of the benefits of batch creating and why it is so beneficial. Increased efficiency is definitely one of the things that I love about batch creating because I'm able to plan multiple pieces of content at once. So it helps me save time on repetitive tasks like setting up equipment or organizing resources. Time management is always a big one for me and batch creating helps me to be able to allocate specific time periods for content creation. So I'm able to have more time for other aspects of my life and my business. And once you establish that batch creation workflow, you're able to have a smoother production and quicker turnaround times. My batch creating day is usually the same every single week. That way my hairstylist and my photographer knows when they will be on location. Now, sometimes it does change because, you know, life happens and sometimes we have to readjust the schedule. But for the most part, it is on the same day every single week and that just helps everything flow seamlessly so again if you are a content creator that's trying to get into batch creating or just be more organized with it then be sure to download the planner in my description box below so once I got done with all of those things, I had a little bit of time before my hairstylist was to arrive. One thing I love to do on a batch creating day is to pull the outfits that I plan to wear for the content I'm going to be creating because you can waste a lot of time trying to figure out what outfits you're going to wear whenever you're in the middle of shooting. So I would highly recommend that you do that beforehand because it's going to help you save a lot of time. I also like to keep any outfits on here that I'll be using for any fashion content. That way everything is just in one place and it's not mixed in with my other clothes. So just to give you guys an example, I'm working on a fashion post about mom's on the go outfit ideas. So I have all of those outfits already on this rack so that they will be in one place. So if you're batch creating or creating fashion content, I definitely recommend investing in a clothing rack. So my hairstylist always gets here around 10. And if you've been here for a while, then you guys know Monica, that is my girl. We have been working together for almost 10 years now. So I always love to have her come on location. So she'll style my hair and any other additional wigs in case I wanna switch it up whenever we're shooting. So I just love having her here because we always just have good conversations and she always makes sure that my hair is laid. And I love that this gives me the flexibility to to switch up the look if I need to because she does style all the other wigs so you know I can just throw one on and switch it up real quick so yeah since hair really isn't my specialty I always like to make sure that there's room in the budget for this
And normally my photographer arrives around noon. We've been working together for a few years now and I absolutely love having her a part of the team. So each week we like to start off by going over the game plan, making sure that we're on the same page and her organizational skills are truly unmatched. So impressive, definitely a valuable aspect to my brand and I just love working with her. It's always good vibes. And once we go over the game plan, we then start creating. So today's focus was revolved around captivating blog posts and visually engaging short form content. So this week for the blog, we were working on a post about styling your kitchen island. And whenever you're creating content, you wanna make sure that it's going to be content that your audience is interested in and engaged in. I know you guys are all about home decor and you love home decor tips. You guys know that I love home decor, so I love creating this type of content. And if you have a blog, a great rule of thumb is to create corresponding content for Instagram to push people from your Instagram over to your website. So we worked till about 4 p.m. this day and once she left, I took a little bit of a break, got me some iced coffee as a treat, and then I started working on editing. So I'll give you guys a little sneak peek and show you how the island styling turned out. We also worked on a lot of other things on this day. This was the only thing that I got on camera, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. And around five, I wrapped everything up and started getting ready for dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little sneak peek behind the scenes of batch creating and how I like to get things done as a content creator. Again, if you guys are interested in batch creating, I have a link below where you guys can download a free planner. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.